Welcome to the abstract program here at CAP 11. This year it was an extremely exciting program. We had a record number of submissions, a record number of accepted authors. It's unique in that it provides new authors, especially with an opportunity to present their research in front of their peers. Throughout the days, we've had people come around, talk to the presenters, discuss some of the specifics of their research, compare notes with things that they've done in the past. My abstract is a case series review of granular cell tumor of the breast. Uh, it's examining correlations between imaging, uh, morphology, and uh, clinical outcomes. So my um, study is mainly, uh, mainly it differentiates between follicular hyperplasia and follicular lymphoma using a specific antibody, which is a helicase antibody. Well, our abstract was to evaluate the extent to which the aspiration artifact affects the bone marrow cavity when pulling biopsy. My abstract takes a laboratory intervention that decreases costs and educates clinicians through optimization of vitamin D testing. Uh, I chose to submit to CAP11 because I wanted to show people that pathologists are important in the entire diagnostic process and we can help clinicians and patients save money by implementing an, a simple intervention and uh, decreasing healthcare costs. One of the highlights of this year's abstract program, as in past years, is the CAP Top 5 Junior Member Abstract Program. That's a specific program that allows junior members who have submitted abstracts to the Archives of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine to be selected for cash awards in addition to recognition at each year's Spotlight Dinner. Well, it's great to uh, be able to present your research and work to uh, your colleagues and uh, get feedback. Um, it's been a uh, learning experience, obviously going through the whole process. and. Uh, it's a very constructive process. My advice would be just when you are actually coming down to the point where you're preparing your abstract, really try to focus on what's the most important message within your project. A lot of times as researchers, we start to look at several different questions and we can lose what our main focus is. For the 2012 CAP Abstract Program, we will begin accepting submissions on Monday, January the 30th, 2012, through Monday, April the 2nd, 2012. For more information, please consult www.cap.org. You may also send an email to Archives of Pathology at cap.org.